So today what we're doing is we're going to take the father-son duo of Vlad Sr. and Vlad Jr., put them on the Blue Jays together, and we're going to see what they would do as teammates. Oh, yeah. That's right. As teammates. Obviously, there's been a lot of father-son duos in the league. You think of the Griffies, the Bonds. There's the Alus. There's the Gwyns. There's a bunch of different names that you could throw out. But also, there's some current players. Tatis, Bichette, Biggio, Vlad... Uh, the Guerreros, you've got the Bellingers, Bobby Witt and his father. There's like a bunch of different combi like duos. I don't want to say combinations, but duos that have played in the league. But uh, there's also the sons that are playing currently. And I felt like let's start with Vlad and his father just because Vlad Jr. is coming off an MVP type season. I felt like it was it was a good one. It was a good one for sure to throw him in there. And let's see how they would be as teammates. Obviously, I got this kind of inspiration from Click Productions where he did LeBron and Bronny on the same team as teammates. And I thought, you know what? That was a pretty cool idea. Let's do it here. And we could definitely do more versions of this video. Like I said, Tatis, you've got Bichette, uh, Bichette. I almost said Bichette and Biggio at the same time. Bichette, Biggio, there's a bunch of different ones. So if you guys want to see some more videos like this, hit the like button down below. Let me know in the comment section down there of course if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button i think that's really about it guys i think that's it so for today um i'm gonna address this comment that someone posted in a couple videos ago i think it was where he's asking what roster i use honestly i've been using the same base roster for quite some time i think it was right after the trade deadline it's by writing rosters and i've just been editing and updating it as the season goes on but really if you guys just go to the roster vault and you just look through some of the most recent uh uploads to the roster vault from like anybody that you'll see 2021 free agency updated or 2021 roster updated from free agency whatever it is just start downloading different rosters and see which one you like the most it really just is personal preference honestly i haven't really looked recently just because i've been using the same roster that i've been tweaking throughout like the whole season really and um i need to find a new one but for right now, I just don't really have a good answer for what is the best, most updated roster. So I think it's really just personal preference what you guys can find. So if you can find a good one, let me know in the comment section down below. I'll check it out. But for right now, I've just been tweaking my own for months now. So you know what? There, yeah, there it is. So there's the answer on all the roster questions you guys got. Just go find a roster that you guys like. It's really personal preference. So here we go. Boom. We got Vlad Sr., so 23 years old, and the thing with Vlad Sr. was that was like his first full year. He had one in 1997 where he played 90 games. I'm looking at the stat line right here, and he was really good, really, really good. But he was 23 in 1998, and he had his like first like pop-off season. 38 home runs, right? He had a 324 average, a 960 OPS, 109 RBIs, and he finished 13 an MVP race insane I'm looking I'm looking at the the MVP race that year unbelievable unbelievable oh anyways anyways so yeah Vlad seniors first full season was this year when he was 23 years old and actually if you look at it it's kind of similar to what Vlad nope not wrong way Vlad jr is putting up this year so that's why if you look at it their hitting stats are pretty similar pretty similar really the only difference is discipline and the big thing for vlad senior is we knew he was a free swinger he's he's swinging at pitches that bounce in the dirt he's hitting pitches that bounce in the dirt vlad senior a little bit more of a free swinger and then also defensively i might end up i feel like i may have given him a little bit too much fielding um just because oh he wasn't the best defensive player most of his season he had a negative defensive war i think there was only like four years where he had a zero or a positive defensive war and when he had a positive defensive war it was like a 0.1 rather than like a, a four or five or anything like that so you know what i mean realistically he wasn't the best defender he just had a crazy arm or fielder i should say he just had a crazy arm and some good speed so we'll leave it like this for this player model i tweaked the attributes a little bit but if you just search vlad guerrero and sort by most downloaded that is the one that i used i think it was by dr sublime i think that was who made this player model i'm pretty sure that was the one who made it it's whichever one was the most downloaded so there it is gotta give props for the person who made the player model as well so there we go you got senior you got junior same team let's do it i think he, sh he should be starting 
in the team. I don't want him leading off though. That's, you know, I don't, I mean, maybe like, maybe flip it like that. Go something like that. I think that's a little bit better. CPU may end up changing this because I'm letting the CPU control everything in this, in this uh, teammate sim. Is that what we're going to call them? Teammate sims? Career sims? Whatever it is. But yeah, there we go. Vlad Sr., Vlad Jr., same team. And then Quirks, they are the Quirks for him. So I know their ratings are super high, but if you look at what they did right off the rip season one, might as well might as well juice them up, have some fun with it. Let's get through this first season. Okay, so trade frequency is this low. I just want to show you what trade or trades have happened so far. Juan Soto just got traded. So there's that. He went to the Astros. I mean, names have just been flying. Like, I've been getting... Like, Glasnow got traded. I mean, what is going on here? Like, these are unbelievable. I mean, we're about to hit the, the deadline. There's probably going to be another notification. There wasn't. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. I want to see the all-star voting. I want to see if our father-son duo made it. And as you can see, there's Vlad Jr.'s stats. So there's that. What about right field? Did he make it? He did. He's hitting 257, though. It's got to be that discipline. I need better. I need better out of him. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Please don't fall off. Uh, but yeah, there it is. Really quickly, we got a father-son all-star combo. I'm not going to show you that every single year. But at least we got that right off the rip. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's see. Maybe maybe Vlad Sr. wins rookie of the year. All right. So 99 and 63. The Blue Jays are a... Oh, the division winner. Ooh, okay, so the one thing I did forget to mention, I gave Vlad Sr. a 10-year contract, so he's not going anywhere. He's staying with the team. The big thing is we got to keep Junior on the squad as well, which is going to be pretty difficult with some of the contracts that are here. So I might have to do a little, little, little managing here and there to help us out. But saves leader was Kirby Yates. Anything, I mean, Juan Soto, man, on the Astros, really? Bo Bichette. Semyon, Biggio, we got Junior, there's Senior. Senior turned it up the second half of the season. I like to see that. There we go. I like it. Okay, so hits, doubles maybe. All right, there's Senior and Junior, right back to back. Triples, not worried about. What about home runs? George Springer, Junior, and no Senior? Oh, 26 with 27. So what awards have we won this year? A delivery man of the year, a gold glove, and we got rookie of the year for senior, which sounds weird to say out loud. <laughs> it sounds so strange, but um, just beat out Alex Kirilov. I would assume it's really the big thing here was like the average and doubles, RBIs a little bit, stolen bases. I mean, really the, the big thing you see here is like average on base percentage and OPS. Those are the two big ones, like the not two big ones, but the main things and a couple small stats here like doubles, RBIs. So makes sense that he won rookie of the year. So there it is. Pretty good season. Pretty good season. 40 doubles, 27 homers. Let me let me double see double see double check. Let me double check what the his uh 23 year old season was. 38 home runs in real life. 27. I mean, yeah, it's kind of a big difference. Uh, 37 doubles, so we had more doubles here. We had more steals, and then his average and everything was a little bit lower. But you know what? I'll take it. That's a pretty good season. I will definitely take that. Definitely take that. So we've got Vlad Sr., and then Vlad Jr.'s year was uh, pretty good. Actually, pretty comparable to what he did this year. Obviously, the average OPS and stuff's a little bit lower. But like in terms of home runs, I think he hit, what, 41 in real life? So it's not too, not too different. Not too different there. But yeah, these these guys. Wait, where'd he go? Oh, they have him leading off. I told you they were going to switch it up. They put him in the leadoff spot. So, I mean, he still put up great numbers, though. So, okay. There it is. They're going to be in the postseason. Let's see how they do. First year together. They've got a chance. Ah, get eliminated first round. All right. There it is. That's the first year. That's just the first year. They're just getting started. They still got a team to build. Especially with some of the players that they got on the squad. I mean, look at this. These three right here, that's what you build around. This three right here. You do that, golden. All right, let's see what happens. 
Let's see who they end up signing. Anybody big? Do they even have any free agent offers out there? They brought back Semyon and a big contract. Ooh, that's going to be a problem in the future. That's going to be a huge problem in the future. Oh, boy. All right, let's get into season two. All right, second season in the books. What do we got going on here? ERA leader and Vlad Jr. had the most runs. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, okay. Let's see, what awards do we have? That was it, just delivery man of the year. That, that was... That was it. No other, no other awards. Mm, disappointing. Disappointing indeed. I'm not going to lie about that one. I was kind of hoping for a little bit more out of the father-son duo. So we got the senior. Kind of similar to last year. The, the average in OPS went down, which is not good. Even though everything else went up. So like maybe maybe just a little, little sophomore slump. That's okay. It happens. You know, everybody, everybody has a down year. Junior is like, you know what, Dad? I got you. Hop in my backpack. I'm going to carry you to victory. And there it is. So we got the two father-son combo just doing business, apparently. I mean, the, the, the Blue Jays are 162. Like, they're insane. The thing is, like, they got to beat the Yankees, which apparently is impossible. What is going on with the team? It has to be the pitching. <sighs> okay, so it looks like they traded for Kyle Hendricks. So who got, who got, who got shipped away? Gritchick, right? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, oof. Gritchick, right? So, yeah, Gritchick is the one that got shipped to a new team in the Cubs. But, yeah, that's the season over. Season two. Let's get season three. The Braves defeat the Astros. Just a year too late. Year too late. 102 and 60. Again, the Blue Jays are just being the Blue Jays running the, running the league by a lot. By a lot. Oh, yeah. They're, they're doing it. No awards. Man, Fran Mill. What? That's just... I, how come Frank Mill never puts up these numbers when I have him on my team? That's just... It's not fair. I just... Why? Why? Michael Pineda killing it. He wins Cy Young. I think this is the first time I've ever seen Michael Pineda win Cy Young. And that's uh, probably the lowest amount of strikeouts I've ever seen a Cy Young winner win or have with MLB The Show. Normally, it's like, oh, you have less than 200? You can't win Cy Young. So what is going, this, the safe's broken. I'm calling it now. It's broken. Everything's rigged. That's just, that's just what I'm going with. That's what, that's what I'm going with. hundred percent. Ron Gomes. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Okay. So let's, let's see what the, the father son duo are up to. Looks like, oh, I stepped in. I made a trade. Brandon Nimmo's in the team only because I wanted to get rid of Springer's contract. I got to make sure Junior stays on the team. I, I got to make sure it happens. I got to make sure Vladdy stays on the team because his contract becomes uh, non-existent in a couple years. So we had to do that. So let's see what we got going on here. 30 doubles, 32 homers, his most quiet season, which sounds crazy to say it that way. It looks like he's going down in rating already. So maybe he's capped that potential, which if that's the case, we're going to we're going to see something here. Let me let me take a look. What are we at? We are. We're capped at potential. No longer are we capped at potential. This shouldn't be the case. He should be 99 potential based off of what he did this year. And realistically, he's 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 got all the potential, right? It's there. Does he live up to it? That's the question mark. But realistically, with MLB the show, if you have the potential, unless you just absolutely do nothing. You'll live up to it. MLB The Show, there's no variability in the game. If you have that potential, you will somehow eventually get up to it. That's just how it is. As long as you're in the league long enough, there will be some way that you get up to that potential. It just is the case. It's weird. That's just how it is. So we saw his numbers. Let's go look at Vlad Sr.'s numbers. We got 20 doubles, 42 homers, 106 RBIs. I mean, that's that's exactly what you're looking for. That That's exactly what you're looking for. That's... Whew, 99 overall fielding i don't think it's changed like at all <laughs> if anything he's gotten slower somehow but he's 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 mashing the baseball absolutely mashing it do they still have him as lead off no they have him in the four spot okay okay i mean this team's looking insane that that's really it it's looking insane it's looking crazy who are they playing this time the mariners can they get past them this team's curse 
They're just never meant to make it past the first round of the postseason. That's just what it is. Sorry, Blue Jays. It's just, it's just meant to be that way. I mean, the Blue Jays are good. 104 and 58. Like, they're, they're good. They just can't make it past the first round of the postseason. We finally got some league leaders. It's a, it's a closer. Okay. Vlad Jr. is up there with batting average, though. Oh, no, that's not Jr. That's Senior. Ooh, but he's going down. I don't like that. Power numbers are going down. No, 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 no. No, we're not doing that. We're uh, not allowing that. That's really what it's getting to. <laughs> no, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. But whatever happens, happens. I see Vlad Jr. for home runs. So that's good to see. What award do we have? A gold glove. That was it. That's it. Vlad Guerrero's in the mix for batting title. But Quetzal Marte is going to beat out Mike Trout this year. And that really looks like it. No gold glove. Do we have any gold gloves in right field? No. What about Silver Slugger? Vlad Jr. won it in 2022. What about outfield? Let's see. No. No, no, no. All right. Unfortunate. No awards, really. That's disappointing. What do we got for Vlad Jr. this year? We got 29 doubles, 36 home runs, which is awesome to see. I mean, he's going to be a good hitter. Like, that's, that's, that's what we're coming to expect. I need to make sure we sign him long term. He's not going anywhere. He's got to stay with his father, who's just casually hitting 320. Just not the home runs I was expecting. The power numbers going down. A little upsetting. A little upsetting. But, I mean, and also the stolen bases, he had more in real life. I think there was a year he had like 40 stolen bases. But the numbers aren't bad. Numbers aren't bad at all. I mean, especially with the average and the OPS. Like, that's, that's pretty good. We just need a little bit more power production out of that bat. Hopefully it comes. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But overall, I mean, these two guys are killing it. They're, the father-son duo are taking over the league. Just what we wanted. We just need them to take over the postseason. Finally. There you go. When did they sign Shohei? No wonder why. There's no way they make it out with Shohei on the mound. That's just a dumb signing. Why would you ever sign Shohei in franchise? Come on, Blue Jays. You're better than that. Way better than that. We got to, you know what, if we're going to win, we got to get rid of them. That's just, we can't be having that. No, 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 no. The Astros defeat the Brewers. I don't care. Shohei's getting traded. Nothing against Shohei. He's just not good in franchise. He's got to go. He's got to go now. Like, we got to, I don't know, just give me, give me something else. What, who, who's available? Who wants to join us in Toronto? How's he been? I, he hasn't been bad, but I'm going to, I'm going to make the trade and then we're going to hop into season five. All right, season five. Okay, once again, just not leading the league in anything. Awards, nothing. Nothing at all. I need I need better production. We're just not getting the production I, I want. I want more out of this team. And by team, I mean these two. I mean, he's still consistently hitting 30 home runs, though. So, like, it's not, it's not like it's bad. It's just I want more. I want them to just absolutely take over the league. Like, 45 home runs, there it is. That's, that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking for. 45 home runs. Not even in the, the MVP conversation. Why is he not in the MVP conversation? What's going on here? Okay. I mean, yeah, that, I guess that's tough. I guess that's tough. But that's not, again, once again, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. What do we have? Like a one-year difference in these two. And it it's like almost a one-year difference for home runs based on how many he's been hitting so all right we're, we're looking pretty similar looking pretty similar i'm liking it things are going well i just need the team to do well i need the team to finally win and make it like the okay i've even i've even got rid of shohei i did kind of tie up a couple players so that that's an issue we won't talk about that right now but yeah we, we might we might be running out of money soon i think that's what five years so we've got big boy contract here he's only got a couple years left on his deal he's got five years left on his deal because i gave him a 10-year contract to start it so let's keep moving forward i might skip a few years and then kind of recap like every three unless something crazy happens so may maybe i'll do that maybe i'll just recap here in a bit because right now they're not winning playoff games and i know that's what you guys want to see so unless like a major award happens let me just let me skip a few seasons all right we're in season eight that's correct eight um awards are just being run by the mariners right now we'll leave it there issue big issue vlad jr has been decreasing and i don't just mean like you know whatever one two ratings i mean this is what's been happening for the last like three seasons 
which I don't is is Vlad Jr. bugged in the roster because this always happens with him every single year it happens I don't know what it is but like every single time I do a franchise I never pick up Vlad Jr. past his age like 27 season because this always happens so sadly this might be a this might be a little bit this might run a little shorter than I anticipated because I'm not going to step in and boost his ratings back up. That's just going to, that, that's dumb, right? Like we've got Vlad Sr. Who's, who's still putting up crazy good numbers, still being very good. Contract expires in a couple years. But then you've got Vlad Jr. who's just, I don't, I don't know. His, his body's just falling apart. I don't know what happened to him. I just. It just, I, yeah, I'm I'm flabbergasted. The Blue Jays suck. They're not making the postseason, and when they do, they get knocked out first round. So sadly, I think this is going to be one of those that ends in like three seasons because uh, Vlad Jr. is like, I don't want to play baseball anymore. So that is disappointing. I'm gonna get to the contract here. I'm gonna re-sign Vlad Sr. But let's let's see what happens with Vlad Jr. because I don't know how much longer he's gonna be in the league. All right, year ten in the books. Like, still no awards or anything. And as you can see, even Vlad Sr.'s falling apart. <laughs> I mean, he is 32. I completely understand that one a little bit. This is the one that I don't understand. This is the one I don't understand at all. Like, I mean, he's still putting up respectable seasons. And he's just getting absolutely manhandled by MLB The Show right now. Like, it is... I don't even know what to do, man. Like, he has... 300 home runs he's got almost 2,000 hits his batting average has been besides this season has been what 270 and above every single year on base percentage 360 and above besides the last two seasons I, I don't get it man let me let me see what his potential is because there's no reason why he should just be getting just destroyed 99 potential I don't get it I like I don't I mean this is a little bit more understandable. He's a little bit older. He's been in the league for 10 years. That's fine. Like, I get this one. This one is fine. I understand it a little bit. Didn't have the greatest of years last year. You know, that's fine. Whatever. But, like, come on, MLB. Like, we're, we're having a good career sim up until, like, three seasons ago. And then they're just like, you know what? No fun for you. Like, this is over. You can't enjoy it anymore. It's over. Like, I haven't won. Like, I think we've made it past the first round of the playoffs once. I haven't won a single award besides one silver slugger with Vlad Jr. I mean, I was so hyped for this. I was so hyped. I was like, dang, this is going to be a juicy, juicy video. We're going to have the Vlad <coughs> allergies. We're going to have Vlad Sr., Vlad Jr. take over the league, World Series, MVPs, all the good stuff. No, 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 no not even close all right i'll give this i don't even know how much how much does vlad jr have on his contract left four years five years all right let's match it let's just go five years let's hopefully he signs it and the cpu doesn't take it away let's see all right he's still on the team all right we're good to go i'm just gonna sim five years see what happens all right so vlad senior has retired vlad jr hasn't hasn't retired yet i don't believe at least i hope not because i haven't gotten a notification for it and this is the first or second year that they're in the free agency pool but i don't i don't think he is from what i've seen but also i'm like trying to see if there's like a junior to see how it works so yeah he would be right here in the g's as well so vladimir guerrero has decided to retire at the age of 39 and like I said, first year in free agency, he's decided to retire. He got that five-year contract with the Blue Jays. And then he just, he was like, you know what? I've had enough. So these, this is how he finishes. Like I said, it was kind of disappointing. No MVPs, no World Series, no awards, nothing like that. And honestly, he had a really good career. Really good career. I mean, he played into the, the majors his whole career. And for most of the season too, like he really didn't miss a lot. 10 home runs short of 400, you know, 2,300 hits. Let me, let me pull up Vlad's, let's, let me, let me pull up his career stats really quick. I probably should have had that up already, but 
let's see here home runs he finished with 449 in real life so definitely a lot less at what like 50 59 that's that's a that's a pretty big difference hits wise he almost had 2600 in real life so we're about 300 short a little bit less than 300 short and not too bad average wise was a lot better in real life and so was his ops so overall not as good as he was in real life but i feel like we were kind of kind of screwed by mlb the show in this one so you see his numbers is he a hall of famer he is not i bet you if he would have gotten 10 more home runs he would have been 10 more home runs he would have been that was the difference in making the hall of fame the th the 10 home runs that's exactly what it was so let's let me let me double check to make sure his his son is still in free agency he is all right let's see what happens with it here all right so probably in one of the videos that's probably like just completely knocked the wind out of my sails and one of those things where it's just like as soon as he started falling off i was like it's over right like the whole video has been just completely ruined i mean he fell apart quicker than a kim k marriage like it was ridiculous three less home runs than his dad i think like a hundred less hits than his dad like realistically it sucks it, it, it it's just it's so garbage he was in the league for what seven years i mentioned and he started falling off by season nine or mlb service time nine years in the league he was already down like 10 overall like what is that that is so garbage so garbage if he makes the hall of fame and his dad doesn't i'll be surprised you guys see the stats it's disappointing like i'm not the war i don't really care yeah like how how is he making hall of fame like is it a bad career no but overall I don't know what to say realistically mlb the show right here you, you got to do better with player progression there's got to be some change there's got to be a change it's just it makes no sense there's just it's i don't know uh, it's just the oh man i mean like it looked it looked so promising those first like five seasons i'm like these guys are gonna hall of fame duo we're gonna get 3,000 plus hits, like 400, 500 home runs. We're going to see the craziest father-son duo known to man. And realistically, I doubt they even came close to like what the Griffies did. Just by how bad MLB The Show just destroyed them right there. Oh, uh, I hope you enjoyed today's video though. I know I got a little grumpy towards the end. I became Oscar the Grouch. But overall, it, it was just, oh man, really? Like just give me, just give me one good sim. We've had like one good sim all year and it was the 99 overall pitcher like that or the 99 overall hitter like those were the two and they were 99 overalls like come on give me one good sim all season that's all i'm asking for but i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did hit that thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel for new and enjoy the content of course drop a comment i'll catch you guys in the next one peace